yo people and welcome back to the hardware review. This time we're looking at the Raptor Tank from EH Pro and Horizon Tech. Now if you've been following the channel, and if not, why not? We've been doing a versus between the mesh sub -ohm tanks. We started off with the next mesh from Off, and then we did the Falcon King from Horizon Tech, and now we're looking at the Raptor Tank from EH Pro and Horizon Tech. So if you haven't checked out the other two reviews, they are down in the playlist. Go and check them out first and come back to this one. Does the Raptor tank stack up to the other two? Let's find out. Now, when it first came, it was called the Rapture. They changed the name to Raptor, so which is like Jurassic Park. So there's no point in me showing you around that box. We'll just get rid of it. But if you look just above my shoulder like normal, you will see everything you do get in the packaging itself. Right, let's have a little look around this tank. Now, it comes with a plastic 2mm TPD compliant tank. Now, that only works with the single mesh coil. Then it comes with a bubble glass extender, which is 6mm, but only 4mm if you use the dual mesh coil. And it is 6mm if you use a single mesh coil. Sounds a little bit complicated. If you have a little look, you can see what I mean about the plastic tank um, that it comes with. It's not very good, and it only fits the single coil in there, well, the single mesh coil in there. If you put the dual one in there and it's a right tight fit, you, there's no room for your juice at all. So I would suggest straight away swap it over for the bubble glass. Right, let's do like we normally do. We'll go top to bottom. It is an 810 drip tip. It is interchangeable, so if you've got your own, you can put it in there. It is a top fill. Just locate that little arrow, which sometimes is a bit hard for me. <laughs> locate the arrow, push it across, and as you can see, you've got your kidney well. It isn't the biggest of kidney wells, but we'll talk about that in the pros and cons. Let's go down to the bottom. You've got your airflow. It is mirrored, and it does lock off either side. At the bottom, it does say uh, designed by EH Pro. You've got your kite mark and don't vape in a bin. And then you've actually got your batch number. Mine was number 79. The uh, 510 is slightly protruding. Now, it fits together exactly the same as, say, the Falcon King. You screw the uh, coil into the base at the bottom and then fit your chimney on top and screw it. Make sure you don't do it too tight because you do want to get it off. Right, let's talk about these coils. Now, it comes with a single mesh coil, which is a 0.15 ohm coil. That's best between 40 watts and 70 watts. It then comes with a dual mesh coil, which is a 0.2 ohm coil. That's between 60 watts and 80 watts. Now, we all know Horizon Tech, if you've used the Falcons before, they have different types of wicking. Now, they started off with the wood mulch and cotton. Then with the Falcon King, they went to the bamboo and um, cotton mix. And now they've gone with the seagrass fibre and um, cotton mix as well. Is it any different to the other ones? I'm not quite sure. We'll find out in the pros and cons. Well, this is the tank done. Let's go to the pros and cons and bits that we've missed. So as normal, I always miss something out. The coils from the Raptor will fit all the Falcon tanks and all the Falcon tanks coils will fit the Raptor. So if you've got a favourite Falcon tank coil, that'll fit in the Raptor and vice versa. I think it's a corking idea. So if you bricks and mortar... If run out of one of them, there's a good chance they'll have the other one in there. So big thumbs up for that. Great idea. Right, let's do the pros and cons. We'll go to the cons first. And my major cons are with the actual top fill. Now, the first one's probably a little bit of a personal gripe. Now, when you're trying to find, find the actual arrow to open it up, it is very hard. Especially on this gunmetal one, it's very hard to see. I wish they didn't like Braille, you know, like where it just sticks out a little bit and you're putting your thumb across and then it's like, now I can't find it. There you go. And you can find it. And just push it across. That's one big thing I like about the King. You've got that button in it just opens. But yeah, it'd be nice if they had something like Braille. So when you're moving your, your thumb around, you can find it to push it open. Now the actual sliding part is very, very slack. It opens up in your pocket. So the EH Pro and Horizon Tech need to look at that on the second batch. It just opens up. There's no resistance there at all. As well as it doesn't push far enough back. So where you've got your kidney well to fill it up, it's sort of taking half of it up. So if you've got a big nib for your juice, it's very, very hard to fit it in there. The actual top piece needs to slide across a little bit more. That's really only the cons I've got about it, apart from the filling mechanism for the top fill. Apart from that, it is really well made, just like the Falcon King. And as well as the next mesh, that was really well made, apart from obviously the drip tip, what we pointed out. So let's go to the pros. Let's talk about the clouds and the flavour first. Oh, 
clouds for days and the flavour is absolutely on point. I love the flavour from both coils. Now the single mesh, I've been roughly running at about 60 to 65 watts and the flavour and the clouds have been absolutely corking. Now the dual mesh, I've been ru running it roughly about 70 watts. Now that's my normal daily vape um, sort of wattage and again it's been absolutely corking. A lot of people are saying the single coil is a little bit more flavoursome. I can't really tell any difference between it. Both of them have got corking flavour. And I think that's a lot to do with Horizon Tech with their coils. We, we, obviously, we did the Falcon King, and the flavour from that was absolutely fantastic as well. And these coils are no different. Really good flavour on them. And you're getting clouds for days. I've had to do a couple of takes on this, and this room is proper vapey. Now between the, the wood mulch, the bamboo and, and cotton mix, and now the seagrass, can I taste any difference? Is there any difference on flavour? I've had this just over four weeks, and I've got to tell you, both coils are still going strong. Um, no, I've not had any different sort of flavour than what I would have had from the King itself, or any of the other Falcon tanks. The flavour's on point. The airflow is a, a little bit loud, it does lock off really nicely, you can really adjust it in. And it has got a restricted airflow. Now if you just have a little look at the two coils, now I've got one from the Falcon King and I've got one from the actual um, Raptor. The airflow at the bottom is a little bit different. One's got like a, a steering wheel sort of airflow, where it's crossed, and the other one's just wide open. The, the actual one for the Raptor's got like a, a one point, as you can see, like a single bit that sticks out. And then the other one's got like a handlebar. That's the biggest difference between the coils of the Raptor and the um, Falcon King. I think with the one with the steering wheel, that's why you're getting a little bit more noise with it. Flavour is absolutely corking. These mesh tanks, all three of them, the flavour has been brilliant. Now, which one do I like the most? Now, there's nothing wrong with the next mesh. The the, the bits I didn't like about that one was obviously the, the drip tip didn't fit in there nicely. But the flavour wasn't as good as the King. The King was really, really good. Now, what do I reckon to this? These are neck and neck. Between the Raptor and the, the Falcon King, there's not much between it. These mesh coils are just getting them so on point nowadays. Um, I know a lot of people like their RDAs. An RDA is more for me when I'm at home. I don't particularly like carrying out a bottle and if you put it in your pocket and it drips out and all that sort of stuff. I like it for, for me, the juices that I like after my dinner and stuff like that. So I use a lot of tanks. Now I come from being at a tank vapor, that's what I first started off. And they're getting better and better and better. And this is no different. And I would proper recommend this. Now, if you are um, um, a shop or wanting to actually stock this, you can get this from Horizon Vape Distro. I will leave all the details down in the descriptions for you. You're going to have to try this one, people. I know we're reviewers, but the only thing that I like about the Falcon King a little bit better is the top fill. And it's probably because it's a bit gadgety and it's a lot easier. You just press that button and it flicks out. That's the only thing better than this. The flavour of both of them are absolutely amazing. And, and they're getting better all the time. So people, let me down, let me know down in the comments what you think. If you've got both of them and what you think about this tank, let me know down in these comments. Well, this has been another review by Little Bro. All the details for Horizon Tech will be down in the descriptions and EH Pro. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. If you like the video, make sure you like, subscribe and share. The subscribe button's just in the corner. Give it a little press and give it a new magic number. We're nearly at 2K, people. Press that subscribe button. Well, there's one last thing to say, people. Keep them juices flowing. <laughs>